filming Halloween videos and I'm leaking, bro. Like, leaking. Don't play with knives, kids. Don't play with knives, kids. My ass is leaking all over the floor. Mind you, mind you, the video I'm making goes, nobody move, there's blood on the floor. <laughs> bandaged my hand up because I need to finish filming and this blood was getting in the way so it had to be temporarily dealt with but I'm gonna put y'all on the tripod and see if I can let you watch me I'm supposed to start stream in five minutes and I am in my kitchen dying elf ears brown. It's not brown elf ears. And it's not working. It's also literally not working. Um, I think there's too much water for the water to die ratio. So let's try it again. This has now turned into how to fail at dying your elf ears brown. Because what's happening? They're not dying and this is just a mess. I dyed elf ears, but I have poop water. Hold on. I'm going to a Halloween party and my friend is actually two minutes away now and I, I don't have time to do this whole thing like I thought I did, but I'm a cowgirl. I don't look like one, I'm already aware. I just wanted to dress like this. Halloween is my favorite time of the year because girls can dress like sluts or however the thing goes, I don't know. Okay, I got invited to fashion show ever so I'm really excited and I'm doing my makeup right now and I'm trying not to rush and do my makeup and that's my laundry in the back that sounds like someone's robbing me and I'm really excited but I'm also really nervous I'm not walking or anything I'm just a guest but it's still cool to me and I'm going alone so I don't know if I mentioned that that might be why I'm so nervous I'm a little nervy, but it's okay. We're tackling the nerves by going alone intentionally. So it should be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. Nervous and panicking is like my whole vibe. So it's totally fine if I'm nervous and panicking. Also, my makeup was going perfect till I turned the camera on. I think y'all have something to do with it. I will be putting the blame on all of you instead of on myself. But I also really wanna wear lashes. I really wanna have a big lash on because I've been doing that black eyeliner look for a while lately, the big, the like super dark, sultry eye. And I kind of want to get into a lash, so I don't wear lashes when I wear that. I think I'm gonna wear my lash. I almost forgot my blush, of this Rare Beauty blush. I want a pinkier shade than this. I tried this one because my friend said she uses it. And then it turned out this was not the shade she uses, but I ended up liking it, so I just stuck with it. Hey ladies, drink some lemonade. Now I'm realizing my eyebrows are too far apart. And I know what you're thinking. I know I said that and you were like, excuse me ma'am, they're already touching. But I have talked about this before. I put my eyebrows really close together intentionally because I feel like it makes my eyes look closer together because I think my eyes are really far apart. So. That's why I did that. This is the only shade that actually matches me and is the right undertone and I really like. And they don't sell it in an individual pod, so I have to keep spending hella bread to get this whole palette because this is the only color I like. And they don't sell it in its own thing that I know of. I also may be stupid and they could have sold it that way the whole time and I just am silly and haven't seen it. Just a silly, silly girl, so. But for now, um, I'm just gonna decide that I'm not a silly girl and they don't sell it and I'm right and I'm perfect. And on top of being perfect and right, I'm also very sexy. Don't confuse that with being perfect. You can be sexy and not be perfect. Me personally, I am perfect and sexy. Not to be confused, like I said prior. Don't think about me, my nose needs to be contoured. If I could only be allowed to keep one part of my makeup routine, it would be nose contour because I'm so not into my nose. However, I, I understand 
aware I went wrong with not being into my nose and I'm aware of why and I'm actively on my own working on loving it because I understand that there's nothing inherently ugly about my nose but I think as anyone who's ever been picked on for something I'm not special you start to you know demonize your own features when people do it for you a lot especially when you're an online personality and your appearance is up for conversation pretty often um it tends to really you know it tends to get to you what people have to say about how you look the people want just just a little bit but they technically didn't because i'm still aware i think that a lot of the problem pro i wasn't aware or i guess holding myself accountable for why i didn't like how i looked I'm not holding myself accountable I, i'm honestly rushing and i can't find the right words for what i'm trying to explain right now but i'm sure you guys have an idea anyway i was like not doing that so now i'm pretty aware of where the hate comes from within myself why i want that about myself and i'm working on it because i want to love my nose i want to genuinely love my nose not pretend to love my nose and force myself to be decently comfortable with it like i do with everything else on my face that i don't like i don't actually like stuff about myself i just realized that when you do what I do, you kind of have to pretend. And you have to pretend that you are okay with stuff about yourself that you're not. Not liking your appearance is, like, controversial. Damn it, I didn't mean to set all of this, but I put too much. You can see it. Oh, dang it. Okay, whatever, I, I actually don't have time. So, I do a lot of pretending, man. I do quite a bit of pretending when it comes to how I feel about how I look, but... Literally, what can you do? Like, girl, you're not a victim. Shallon, that's like a dot of blush. So, I don't know if that's actually, like, doing anything. Anyway, doesn't matter. Paint thinner smell. I think I'm gonna do that brown liner again, just because it was easy. I did it for the Vegan Fashion Week show. And I can't find the brush I used for it, which was perfect, I found it. It was perfect. And I'm gonna take um, Kufuru and Yodit from the Juvia's Place palette. And I think that's what I used last time. Honestly, there was like not much precision in it, even when I did it for the vegan show. So yeah, I literally just go at it. It's like, no, like you should know because I should be loving my face all the time and it shouldn't only be reserved for my MacBook has been making it all day. Do y'all know what it means? Yeah. So, do y'all know what that's about? But anyway, I want to feel so pretty in my natural face that I wear it whenever I want, genuinely. So that's the goal. So what I've been doing is slowly weaning off heavier makeup for nicer events. Like Vegan Fashion Week, I had a feeling there was gonna be Gettys there. And I never really thought to do a Getty with light makeup just because I'm like terrified of Getty cameras. Those cameras are no joke. Any imperfection you didn't even think you had will show up on them. Getty cameras are more clear than eyeballs. What people look like in their Getty images is what they actually look like in real life. Any celebrity I've seen in real life, they look just like they're Getty. And that's like that, that's just a genuine statement. If you wanna know what I really look like in real life, no filter or nothing, Gettys, you know? So I never thought to take a Getty, with minimal makeup, but I did it and I was like, oh, um, I look kinda hot. And I was really confident in my appearance that day. So I'm doing it again right now. If you have to go somewhere, get your makeup out and do your makeup with me if you're going somewhere. If you're not, we're just gonna sit here and do my makeup and you're just gonna be here with me and we're just gonna sit in this moment together while I pinch my lashes together. Let's assess if I wanna do no lashes because I've been doing a lot of that lately too, no lashes. Yeah, so I'm dabbling in new looks because the way that I got my makeup done for the BET Awards, I would never do my makeup like that. It felt too natural, but I felt so beautiful on that carpet like I told y'all in that vlog. I felt gorgeous. So all that did was make me realize that you have to be receptive to new things. And that's exactly what that did for me. It made me willing to try new looks and new makeup styles and new shapes and new stuffy stuff. So yeah, venture out guys. It's coming from someone who does not like to venture out, but did anyway. That is my favorite lip liner. It's just so good. I think I should do a glossy lip vibe, but I don't know. But you know what? Lip gloss is that it's too big, so I can't fit it in my purse like I can fit my NARS. NARS is my go-to for a matte, and Hourglass is my go-to for a gloss, but I can fit this NARS in my purse. I cannot fit that Hourglass in my purse. I need to hurry up. I need to 
take my piercing out. I want to put in cute earrings in it, but honestly, I don't trust my ears. My ears play, and every time I think that damn piercing is healed, it's not. So I've been too scared to take anything out of it. I have to take any to take the earring out. But you know what? You can't be scared forever, man, of your own ear. Like what? Like take this shit out. Okay. Mind you, my wig was hanging off my head. I'm gonna give like a little tease to the hair because that's the vibe I want. Earrings, I need earrings. I'm gonna put in these like half circle earrings. Yeah, I need a gloss, bro. This is like not hot. Put on this jewelry. Nothing too crazy. I need to cut some of these because that's why I think the hair keeps going flat because it's all the same length. Does that even make sense? You know what? No, this is how I want it to sit. Cute. Hold on. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. And I know that I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. No, I know. Am I going to change my mind? No. But I know. My lip gloss. I think I'm going to bring the hourglass with me. You know what? I'm going to put it on. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna bring this in my Victoria's Secret. It's like an iridescent lip gloss, and I'm gonna bring this. Oh, I need to put on my... I'm about to bring this with me, because I finally have a bag I can fit it in when I'm going out, and I'm just gonna need to buy another one, because clearly I'll be putting her to use. This is a strap. Some strap on this dress. Okay, whatever. I'm out, you guys. Bye. It's really pretty today. I'm about to try to film the other half of that elf ears video because I just bought some colored elf ears. But this shape does not look like it's gonna match me either, but I'm about to try it. Y'all can watch me film. Um, keep it cute, I don't have my pants. So I gotta film the opening clip. Oh, the opening clip, which is what I did in the first one where I made it like drop down. Hey, don't hold your camera like this, by the way. Hold your camera with care. Don't be an imbecile. It's gonna look very cringy, so I'll prepare yourselves. Yeah, get the get the brown ears from Amazon. Oh these? Oh these? I guess they match this is still too light. They definitely match better than the other ones, but they're still white. I just want brown ears. Is that so hard to ask? Is that too much to ask? So I've been making more videos and taking more pictures with no makeup on. It's starting to affect my confidence in a really good way. I'm starting to genuinely find myself more beautiful. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to order something from the Facebook Marketplace for the first time. I actually didn't even know this was a thing for quite a while until my friend told me about it. And I'm moving soon, so I think this is obviously the perfect time to do that. So I found this dresser I'm gonna show you guys, and I'm going to try to have it delivered, and I'm gonna, we're gonna do this together. So I already did all the talking to the seller. So now I'm on TaskRabbit looking for delivery service since it's a big clunky dresser, and I obviously wouldn't be able to do that on my own. I'll show you guys the dresser when it gets here, hopefully, or if there's an update and they, I don't know, if something goes wrong. Pray it doesn't. Knock on wood. It's just fake wood, but hopefully it goes good. It's the next day, and I, the driver just picked up my dresser and my nightstand, and he's on the way here now, I think. I am gonna have to help him bring it up because it's just the one driver, and it's a dresser and two nightstands, so I'll try to record that if I can, but I don't know if I can, like, do that while focusing on bringing up a dresser, so we'll see. But yeah, hold on, let me show you guys what I can. The listing on the marketplace. Sold, look at that sold sign. This is the dresser. This is the nightstand one, nightstand two. My apartment looks depressing. It looks like a medical facility. And I think it has a lot to do with why my mood is always down. And I feel as though I never feel good here. So I think more bright, vibrant furniture will help. I know this dresser is still technically white, but there's some brown in it. At least we're gonna add some color to the room. I'm looking for a brown bed frame now too. So we'll see. So I'm gonna show you guys the dresser and the nightstands and we're gonna get into what I'm gonna do to sanitize it because if you know me, I need to sanitize it. So here it is. It's so beautiful. 
I actually found out that it's way more vintage than I thought. It being vintage wasn't a concern of mine, honestly. I just liked how it looked. But apparently it's like from the 70s. I'm gonna open all the drawers and start with Lysol. I'm gonna smell vintage. I'm gonna start with the face and I'm just gonna spray all around. I pray these drawers come out, but no way to know until I actually try. Oh, someone's calling. Hold on. My mom called. Home. That's the dress I bought. I just got it delivered. Okay, nice. Okay, like it. Me too. And then these are the nice. I remember seeing that online. Yes, yes. Right now, um, so it's really vintage. It's from the 70s. It belongs to the seller's parents. Okay, I finished Lysol spraying all of the drawers. So this is what the drawers look like. They have this striped golden thing. And I don't know what this is, but yeah. This is what all of them look like. I'm assuming this is why they didn't send me a picture of this one is because this is the most damaged. For the most part, it's pretty nice. I only paid $175 for it. So I think I'm gonna hire somebody to spruce it up and you know, get it together. Yeah, excited. I'm really tired. I don't like being up this early. And y'all know that. Okay, I just got to my storage unit. To move everything from the smaller unit to the bigger one, it's really early for me. It's cool. We gotta, we gotta get this shit done. Okay. We're getting somewhere already. He's moving really fast, this mover. So far, I just have my PC stuff out so I can repack that. And I just need to get the legs from my TVs. But when they unmount them today, like, what even is this? I think I'll be just... Posing of that. We're making progress. We've been kind of big. We've only been here for like five minutes at this point. Okay, so I just got to a little thing. I'm trying to find my link. Here it is. Hold on. It says no parking from 10 a.m. to noon, but it's noon. But it says on Friday only. So I think I'm good here. LA parking really confuses me, but whatever. I think my team is here already too. I wish we could just ride together, but the ways, the directions we live in and stuff is, oh, and I'm in drive. The directions we live in and stuff like that is just, cause like I said, I can't drive in, in, in like heels. So I have to like wash shoes. It's kind of crazy, but okay. I'll see you guys later. I'm about to go inside.